Have you ever contemplated the intriguing paradox that uncertainty, frequently perceived as the root of apprehension, can also be a fountain of opportunity? A notion that has provoked thought in many, fostering a curiosity that's impossible to overlook. Today, we're embarking on a journey into this captivating subject matter, examining it from every perspective to fully understand its diverse nature. Uncertainty, in the first place, is a multifaceted phenomenon. It may seem paradoxical, but uncertainty isn't an adversary to be dreaded. It's an ally, a companion, a guide on life's voyage that keeps one on their toes, always prepared. It's fundamental to human development and progress, often leading to unanticipated yet rewarding outcomes. The paradox of uncertainty seems to be an integral part of the human experience. From the birth of civilization, our forebears wrestled with the uncertainty paradox. They recognized that to survive and flourish, they had to accept the unknown. They grasped that the only certainty is change and that the ability to adapt was crucial for survival. This wisdom, passed on from one generation to the next, has shaped the course of human evolution. As we delve into the concept of uncertainty, we'll observe various instances from history, citing the lives of successful individuals and referencing the academic work of respected scholars in the field. Our objective is to furnish a comprehensive understanding of how uncertainty operates and how it can be tapped for growth and innovation. Let's start by introducing the first principle, a guideline that numerous successful individuals follow. Embrace uncertainty. This might appear contradictory, but the benefits are abundant. Accepting uncertainty means venturing into the unknown, welcoming new opportunities, and stepping out of your comfort zone. It's about testing your limits and pushing beyond what is familiar and comfortable. Now let's discuss a few instances of individuals who embraced uncertainty and altered the path of history. Let's start with Steve Jobs, one of the most recognizable figures of our era, whose influence has redefined the realm of technology and beyond. After a rather abrupt exit from Apple Inc., the company he co-founded, Jobs found himself in unfamiliar waters. A less resilient individual might have succumbed to the pressure, but not Jobs. For Jobs, this period of uncertainty was not a stumbling block, but an invitation to new opportunities. It was during this time that he established Next and Pixar, two companies that would revolutionize their respective industries. He skillfully converted uncertainty into creativity, making the unknown a launch pad for innovation. Let's consider another example, Richard Branson, an entrepreneur who has made a career out of embracing uncertainty. Branson sees a world of potential where others see risk. His ability to embrace uncertainty and take calculated risks has led to the creation of the Virgin Group, a conglomerate with over 200 companies in various sectors. On the psychological front, embracing uncertainty is an exercise in rewiring our brains to view uncertainty not as a threat, but as an opportunity. This mental shift allows us to approach uncertainties with a proactive mindset rather than a reactive one. It encourages resilience, adaptability, and openness to change, all critical elements for personal growth and development. Uncertainty also cultivates creativity. When we're unsure of the outcome, our brains start to explore various scenarios, possibilities, and solutions. It pushes us to think outside the box, fostering innovation. To wrap up, Uncertainty is a paradox with the potential to be a forceful stimulator for growth. It demands the courage to accept, the wisdom to navigate, and the vision to recognize its potential. Once we grasp this, we can utilize its power as a source of opportunities, propelling us to heights we never considered achievable. Today, we've only just scraped the surface of this intricate topic. However, through the stories of Steve Jobs, Richard Branson, and our examination of uncertainty, we hope you've obtained a richer understanding of its potential and the role it can play in our lives. Their stories serve as a testament to the potential benefits of uncertainty, demonstrating how it can act as a catalyst for innovation and personal growth. Moving further into our discussion, let us delve deeper into the concept of focusing on what we can control. This principle is not exclusive to Frankel's logotherapy. It resonates with various other psychological theories. The Stoic philosophy, for example, is centered on this very idea. It argues that we should segregate our experiences into what we can control and what we cannot, then invest our energy solely into the former. Cognitive Behavioral Therapy, CBT, a widely recognized and practiced psychological method, also echoes this sentiment. It encourages individuals to challenge and change maladaptive thoughts and behaviors, 
focusing only on the aspects they can modify. Now let's consider some real life examples. Imagine you're preparing for a job interview. You can't control the interviewer's perceptions or the competition, but you can manage your preparation, punctuality, and presentation. Another example is the ongoing global pandemic. While we cannot individually control its spread or severity, we can regulate our hygiene practices, maintain social distancing, and get vaccinated. Putting this into practice in daily life isn't as daunting as it seems. Here are a few tips. Start by identifying the elements in your life that are within your control. This could be as simple as your daily routine, the food you eat, how much you exercise, or the way you respond to stressful situations. Next, make an active effort to let go of things you can't control. If you're worried about an outcome you can't influence, consciously remind yourself that worrying won't change the situation. Finally, invest your time and energy into what you can control. If you're concerned about your health, for instance, focus on maintaining a balanced diet and regular exercise routine. On that note, Frankel's assertion that our responses are within our command is an incredibly empowering concept and one that can drastically alter our perspective of life's challenges. It teaches us to cultivate resilience, adaptability, and a proactive outlook towards the hurdles we encounter. Remember, while we cannot control every situation we encounter, we can always control our response to it. This paradigm shift can illuminate the path to personal growth and resilience, emphasizing the value of focusing on what we can influence rather than becoming consumed by what we can't. The cornerstone of our third guideline is to cultivate a growth mindset, an intellectual construct formulated by the renowned psychologist Carol Dweck. Considered revolutionary, this theory has swept across the globe, altering the way we perceive our capabilities. It proposes that our abilities are not rigid or fixed, but are rather flexible, capable of being shaped and sculpted by our efforts, perseverance, and the ever-persistent desire to learn. This theory stands in stark contrast to the traditional schooling system which predicates on the belief that intelligence is innate and unchanging. As per Dweck's research, individuals with a growth mindset believe that they can develop their abilities through dedication and hard work. They perceive brain and talent as mere starting points, not as boundaries that limit their potential. This concept is not merely an optimistic notion, it is backed by science. Numerous studies have proven that the brain's neuroplasticity allows it to change and adapt, a capacity that can be stimulated and nurtured throughout our lifetime. Growth mindset has profound implications for both personal and professional development. It encourages us to see failures as opportunities, challenges as stepping stones and setbacks as springboards. It instills in us the belief that we are not confined by the skills we were born with, but we are indeed capable of evolving, of expanding our abilities, of achieving beyond what we thought possible. The practical application of this concept can be seen in the lives of numerous successful individuals. One such individual is none other than the iconic figure in the world of sports, Michael Jordan. He was not a superstar. His journey to success was punctuated with failures, setbacks, and trials. He was cut from his high school basketball team, a harsh blow that could have ended his basketball journey. Yet. Jordan refused to let this setback define him. He saw it as a challenge, opportunity to grow. His belief in his ability to improve, to hone his skills, to surpass his limitations propelled his journey, ultimately leading him to unparalleled heights of success. Another person who epitomizes the growth mindset is Albert Einstein, a renowned physicist. Einstein didn't speak until the age of four and didn't read until the age of seven, prompting his teachers to believe he was mentally handicapped Despite these early setbacks and the academic challenges he faced, Einstein didn't give up. His innate curiosity and passion for learning led him to develop the theory of relativity, forever changing the field of theoretical physics. Yet another example is Thomas Edison, the famous inventor. Edison's teachers reportedly deemed him too stupid to learn anything. He also made 1,000 unsuccessful attempts at inventing the light bulb. Yet, his ability to persist in the face of failure and his unwavering belief in his capacity to grow and learn led him to become one of the most prolific inventors in history. These stories underline the power of a growth mindset. They confirm that setbacks are not the end, but the beginning of a new journey. They exemplify that with consistent effort, determination, and a growth mindset, there are no boundaries to what we can achieve. The research and practice of the growth mindset theory by Carol Dweck as demonstrated by these successful individuals, 
offers a promising and hopeful perspective on human potential, inspiring us to continue evolving, improving, and succeeding. As such, the growth mindset is not only a psychological theory, but a life philosophy that can guide us towards realizing our fullest potential. Our next principle centers on staying flexible and adaptable, a trait that's crucial not just for survival, but also for innovation and growth. To illuminate the significance of this principle, let's delve into the life story of one of the most illustrious examples of adaptability, Charles Robert Darwin. Born in a well-to-do family in Shrewsbury, England, 1809, Darwin initially embarked upon a journey to become a medical doctor. But the harsh realities of surgery repulsed him, leading to a change in direction towards theology at Christ College, Cambridge. Post-graduation destiny propelled Darwin onto a different path when he embarked on a naturalist voyage on the HMS Beagle. This unplanned journey was the beginning of a life-altering adventure for Darwin. As the Beagle sailed through uncharted territories, Darwin's flexibility adaptability allowed him to grasp the scientific implications of the diverse species and geologies he was exposed to. Darwin's observant eye and adaptable mind led him to connect the dots and formulate his groundbreaking theory of evolution through natural selection. His revolutionary ideas were met with resistance from traditionalists, but his unyielding spirit allowed him to persist and ultimately transform our understanding of life on Earth. But adaptability and flexibility aren't just limited to Darwin. Take, for instance, the Wright brothers. They failed multiple times before succeeding in their quest to build a working aircraft. Each failure was a lesson, an opportunity to adapt their design, their thinking, until they achieved the seemingly impossible. In the world of business, adaptability is the key to survival. Consider how Netflix transformed itself from a DVD rental service to a streaming giant and now a leading film and TV show producer. They adapted to the changing patterns of consumer behavior and capitalized on the evolution of technology. In our current climate, the COVID-19 pandemic has shown us the importance of being adaptable. Companies that were quick to adapt to remote work or modify their business models to fit the new norm have survived and even thrived during these challenging times. Innovation is driven by adaptation. It's about seeing possibilities and changes about turning challenges into opportunities. But more than that, it's about survival. As Darwin himself theorized, it's not the strongest of the species that survives, but the one that is most adaptable to change. Thus, staying flexible and adaptable is not just a guideline, but a precept for success. The fifth guideline to success is to build a support network, an essential foundation in reaching the pinnacle of your personal and professional journey. Take for instance, the tale of Oprah Winfrey, a globally recognized figure of immense strength, resilience, and influence. Her journey, a beacon of hope for many, is an emblem of triumph over adversities and a testament to the power of perseverance. To reach such heights, Oprah Winfrey, a multifaceted personality, a host, philanthropist, actress, author, and media executive, relied heavily on her strong support network. So, what support network constitute? It involves a group of individuals who are your pillars of strength, sources of inspiration, and cheerleaders that help you navigate through hardships and realize your aspirations. This network could include family, friends, mentors, colleagues, or even professional help such as life coaches or counselors. Interactions with each person in this network contribute to molding you into a stronger, more resilient individual. The task of creating a support network is an ongoing commitment. It requires time, effort, and a lot of patience. It's about fostering positive relationships and allowing them to mature and thrive organically. Analyzing Oprah's support network, we find a melange of individuals who have been her bedrock. They've comforted her in difficult times, staunchly believed in her, and reveled in her successes. Amplifying this concept further, Oprah's support network extended beyond her personal circle. Her audience, who connected with her narrative and empathized with her experiences, became an integral part of her support system. Their feedback and words of encouragement became a constant source of motivation and resilience for Oprah, reinforcing her dedication to her mission. However, a support network extends beyond merely providing emotional backup. It offers a diversity of viewpoints, enabling us to make well-informed decisions. This is crucial in this interconnected world where a wide array of perspectives broadens one's outlook and contributes to a more comprehensive understanding of situations, aiding in making sound decisions and navigating life's intricacies. 
In Oprah's case, her network comprised individuals from varying backgrounds, each adding a distinct perspective to worldview. Their insights enriched her understanding of various life aspects, enabling her to make well-rounded and judicious decisions that often echoed in her shows and philanthropic initiatives. The psychological benefits of a solid support network are numerous. It provides emotional strength, reduces feelings of isolation, increases our sense of belonging, and boosts our self-confidence. Moreover, it provides us with a safety net during times of distress and offers a sounding board for our thoughts and ideas. Socially, a strong network provides us with opportunities for learning, mentoring, and sharing experiences. It facilitates both personal and professional growth by giving us access to a wealth of wisdom, advice, and inspiration. Building a strong network involves being proactive in reaching out, showing genuine interest in others' lives, being open and receptive to feedback, and nurturing these relationships with trust and respect. Additionally, maintaining this network requires consistent communication, mutual support, and the ability to give and take. To conclude, a robust support network, apart from providing emotional backing, presents an array of diverse perspectives that enrich our understanding and decision-making, leading to personal and professional growth. The saga of Oprah Winfrey and her support network serves as a glowing testament to the transformative role a robust support network can play in our journey to success. It underlines the importance of acknowledging the value a strong network can add to our lives and of fostering it with dedication and commitment. Sixth, practice mindfulness and self-care. The one man who's been advocating mindfulness for centuries as a crucial tool for achieving mental balance is none other than His Holiness, the Dalai Lama. Embodying peace and advocating mindfulness, his philosophies have resonated with millions globally, underlining the importance of balance in life. His principle of mindfulness as a key to maintaining equilibrium, especially during uncertain times, is worth delving into. There's a sea of scientific evidence supporting the psychological benefits of mindfulness. Studies have shown that regular mindfulness practice can reduce stress and anxiety, increase focus and concentration, and improve emotional well-being. Mindfulness can seem simple, yet elusive. It encourages us to live in the present moment without dwelling on the past or worrying about the future. However, this requires consistent practice. Here's a practical exercise to incorporate mindfulness into your daily routine. Dedicate five minutes each day to focus on your breath. Inhale and exhale. During this time, try to keep your mind free from all distractions and thoughts. This exercise promotes presence and can help you become more attuned to your thoughts, feelings, and environment. Shifting focus to self-care, as advocated by the Dalai Lama, this is not about indulgence or quick stress relief. Instead, it's about daily nourishment for the body and soul. Scientific research backs the idea that consistent self-care routines improve mental and physical health, reducing stress levels, enhancing mood, and promoting overall well-being. Self-care is a broad term, and it can look different for everyone. It could be a warm bath, a quiet moment, a book, or a peaceful walk in nature. The key is finding something that brings you joy and relaxation. Here's an exercise for implementing self-care into your day. Each night before you go to bed, write down one thing you will do for yourself the next day. This could be anything from taking a leisurely walk to cooking your favorite meal. Incorporating mindfulness and self-care routines into our daily life may seem challenging initially. Like any skill, it necessitates practice, patience, and perseverance. It's akin to planting a seed. It requires time, care, and the right conditions to flourish. Regular practices of mindfulness and self-care keep us grounded amidst life's chaos. They act as a compass, guiding us back to our inner peace, no matter how far we might have drifted. They help in cultivating a resilient spirit that remains steady amidst life's fluctuations. In conclusion, as the Dalai Lama conveys, mindfulness and self-care aren't wellness fads. They're vital tools for mental balance, backed by scientific evidence and offering practical benefits. They unlock the door to a balanced content and resilient life, helping us remain centered and resilient amidst life's challenges. Let's delve deeper into the importance of planning for different scenarios. We can learn a valuable lesson from the game of chess. Visualize the chessboard, its pieces, and the multitude of strategies that could unfold with just the first move. This game, which Garry Kasparov, a renowned chess player from the Soviet Union, mastered, is a game of strategy, adaptability, and foresight. Kasparov's approach gives us insight into the essence of strategizing for different instants. Consider a business professional in a competitive market. Much like a chess player, they must plan for different scenarios. 
They need to be poised to change their approach based on market fluctuations, make challenging decisions under pressure, and forecast future trends to keep their business viable. But how can they do this effectively? Firstly, they need to stay up to date with industry news and trends. By doing this, they can identify potential changes that might impact their business in the future. Secondly, risk management is crucial. They can identify potential risks or challenges their business might face and develop contingency plans to address them. Thirdly, they can use scenario planning tools and techniques to visualize different future states and develop strategies for each. Akin to a game of chess, where a player anticipates their opponent's moves, a business professional must also anticipate market changes and competitor actions. It's not just about reacting to the current state, but predicting and preparing for future states. Furthermore, by regularly revisiting and updating their strategies, they can stay one step ahead much like Kasparov on his chessboard. Another example is our personal finances. Just like a chess player, we need to strategize for different scenarios in managing our money. This might mean having a plan for job loss, a major life event like a wedding or a baby, or even retirement. By planning for these different scenarios, we can minimize financial stress and feel more secure about our future. Practical tips here could include building an emergency fund, diversifying our income streams, and regularly reviewing and adjusting our financial plans. Let's also consider our health. By planning for different health scenarios, we develop resilience that helps us manage unexpected health changes. For instance, we might strategize by adopting a healthy lifestyle to prevent chronic illnesses, getting regular checkups for early detection, or even getting health insurance for financial protection. The essence of strategizing for different scenarios is not to induce fear of the unknown, but rather to empower ourselves to face any situation with courage and confidence. It nudges us to think critically, to adapt, and to grow. Remember, each decision we make holds the potential to cause significant changes, not just in a game of chess, but also in our lives. So, as we journey through life, let's remember the wisdom of Garry Kasparov. Let's embrace the uncertainty, anticipate the unexpected, and be ready for it. It's through our preparation that we find our strength, our strategy, that we find our success, and our adaptability that we embrace the future. Indeed, planning for different scenarios is not just a strategy, it's a necessity, a lesson we can learn from the chessboard. Eighth, learn from failure. This is a crucial lesson that many great minds of history have ingrained in their pathways to achievements. One such visionary is Thomas Alva Edison, the prolific inventor, whose life and work serve as a testament to the importance of learning from failure. Born in the mid-19th century, in the humble town of Milan, Ohio, Edison grew up to be one of the most influential inventors of his time, and indeed, of all time. Edison's journey was full of challenges, requiring tireless dedication and unyielding resilience. His pursuit of innovation was not a smooth sail, but rather it was punctuated with numerous trials and errors, countless days and nights spent in his laboratory, and an indefatigable spirit that refused to bow down to adversity. He was not deterred by the mounting number of failed attempts, Instead, he chose to view them not as setbacks, but as stepping stones towards success. This perspective was not typical of the general mindset of his era, and it set him apart. Let's delve deeper into the concept of learning from failure. It is an invaluable principle in cognitive psychology, which emphasizes the beneficial role of mistakes in cognitive development and skill acquisition. It is supported by the theory of experiential learning, which posits that learning takes place through the reflection and re-evaluation of experiences, including unsuccessful attempts. According to this theory, mistakes or failures provide opportunities for deeper understanding and learning. This concept is also reflected in the lives of many other successful individuals. Take Steve Jobs, for example, whose initial venture with Apple Inc. was far from successful. Jobs was ousted from the very company he founded, but he used this failure as a learning opportunity, eventually returning to Apple to lead it to unprecedented heights. Similarly, J.K. Rowling, the famed author of the Harry Potter series, faced numerous rejections before her work was finally accepted for publication. Instead of letting this discourage her, she used the experience as a stepping stone, fueling her determination to succeed. The story of Colonel Harlan Sanders, the founder of Kentucky Fried Chicken, KFC, also serves as a potent reminder of the power of learning from failure. Sanders faced multiple setbacks early in his life and even during his initial attempts to franchise his chicken recipe. Yet, 
He persisted and eventually built one of the world's most successful fast food chains. Returning to Thomas Edison, his ventures were not foolproof, nor were they immune to failure. In fact, he faced countless setbacks in his pursuit of innovation. Yet, he was unique in his approach to these obstacles. He did not see them as insurmountable roadblocks, but rather as opportunities to learn and grow. Edison's perspective on failure was profoundly philosophical. He took each failure not merely as a mishap, but a necessary tool in the grand scheme of his vision. This was not a man who feared failure, but rather embraced it as an inevitable part of the journey. His numerous failed attempts were seen not as proof of his incompetence, but as evidence of his relentless pursuit of knowledge and innovation. He believed that every failure held a lesson to learn, a nugget of wisdom to extract, a stepping stone towards eventual victory. Thomas Edison is undoubtedly one of history's most iconic figures. His inventions have revolutionized the world as we know it, and his legacy continues to inspire millions around the globe. However, perhaps his most significant contribution lies not in his inventions, but in the perspective he championed. The perspective that reframed failure as not an end, but a learning opportunity, a stepping stone towards eventual triumph. Ninth, embracing continuous learning and staying informed. This principle is not just a habit, but the bedrock of the world's most influential thinkers, leaders, and innovators. Bill Gates, the co-founder of Microsoft, personifies this principle. A voracious reader, Gates is a steadfast proponent of continuous learning, advocating its vital role in personal success and emphasizing that learning must never cease. In the grand panorama of life, knowledge acts as the unifying thread. It propels us forward, equips us to confront challenges, and enables us to comprehend and value our environment. It's not merely the collection of facts and data. Instead, it is about piercing the veil of surface understanding, correlating events, unveiling patterns, and exploring fresh ideologies. Gates' endorsement of continuous learning transcends its utility in career advancement or intellectual superiority. It's about fostering a mentality of curiosity and receptiveness, questioning your convictions, and being open to learn from anyone and anything. It's about adaptability, resilience, and resourcefulness. It's about being a lifelong learner. Being current with the evolving trends and changes demands a conscious effort. In today's digital age, it necessitates staying in touch with the global pulse, seeking fresh insights and perspectives, and keeping our minds receptive to novel ideas. Proactivity, rather than reactivity, is essential. It's about predicting and preparing for change, not merely responding to it. The quest for knowledge need not be a daunting task. It can be a wellspring of joy and satisfaction. It could be as simple as reading an ebook, watching a TED Talk, or participating in an online forum. It's about investigating new fields, deep diving into a favorite subject, or revisiting a familiar topic with a fresh perspective. In the professional sphere, staying informed is critical. It keeps us competitive, us to make informed decisions, and fuels innovation. It helps us understand our clients or customers better, foresee market changes, and modify our strategies accordingly. It positions us as leaders in our fields, navigating the future rather than merely tracing others' paths. On a personal level, continuous learning enriches our lives. It expands our viewpoints, deepens our understanding, and ignites our creativity. It nurtures empathy, encourages tolerance, and cultivates understanding. It fosters personal growth, molding us into more considerate, compassionate, and enlightened individuals. Committing to stay informed and constantly learning is not solely about professional advancement or competitive advantage. It's about equipping ourselves to navigate life's ever-changing terrains. It's about being the best version of ourselves, for our sake, and for others. Hence, staying informed isn't a luxury. It's an essential commitment to ourselves, our careers, and our world. It's a pledge to remain relevant, to keep moving forward, and to continually grow and learn. In the digital age, some effective ways to stay informed could be subscribing to newsletters, attending webinars, listening to podcasts, using learning apps, and keeping track of influencers in your field. This habit not only maintains our professional relevance, but also empowers us to steer our life's changing landscapes. In the end, it all boils down to the invaluable power of maintaining a positive outlook. As Helen Keller, the exceptional author and activist who triumphed over her dual disabilities of being deaf and blind, once profoundly stated, optimism is the faith that leads to achievement. 
Helen Keller wasn't just a woman of strength, resilience, and undying spirit. She was the very embodiment of positive thinking. She faced adversities that most of us can hardly fathom, yet she never allowed her spirit to be diminished. She chose to use her challenges as stepping stones, demonstrating the immense power of optimism. Her words continue to serve as an unwavering beacon of hope, lighting up the path that leads us from the darkest tunnels of despair towards the dazzling light of success. Take, for instance, other notable individuals such as Oprah Winfrey and Walt Disney, both of whom faced countless rejections and failures in their early careers. Yet they persevered. Their unwavering optimism and positivity led them to unprecedented heights of success. They transformed their challenges into opportunities, with their positive outlook acting as their guiding light. Indeed, light. Indeed, a positive mindset is not just a state of mind, it is a potent tool that has the power to shift the trajectory of your life. It plays an essential role in fostering resilience, channeling creativity, and promoting overall happiness. Numerous scientific studies have shown that positivity can significantly enhance our mental health, reducing stress and anxiety levels, and improving our overall well-being. Furthermore, Positivity can act as a driving force that propels us forward during periods of change, helping us to transform negatives into positives. This tool, this power, lies within the reach of each one of us, but it requires nurturing and development. It's a skill that can be sharpened with practice, patience, and persistence. So, how does one cultivate a positive mindset? Start by fostering a habit of positive self-talk. Encouraging words can do wonders in boosting your confidence and overall outlook. Surround yourself with positive influences. Positive energy can be infectious. Spending time with optimistic individuals can help reinforce your own positivity. Regularly practice gratitude. By appreciating what you have, you cultivate happiness and contentment. Lastly, create time for activities you enjoy. Doing what you love can bring about a naturally positive outlook on life. In conclusion, the importance of maintaining a positive outlook cannot be overstated. By nurturing a positive mindset, focusing on what we can control, developing a growth mindset, staying flexible, building a support network, practicing mindfulness, planning for different scenarios, learning from failure, staying informed, and seeing the glass as half full instead of half empty, we can turn uncertainty into a catalyst for growth and success. Remember, it's not the uncertainty that defines us, but how we manage it. Optimism is the faith that underpins achievement. Let it be your guiding light.